Over the last year, teams from Celebration have participated in five different mission opportunities. We have had the honor of participating in disaster recovery in New Orleans, Mayfield, Kentucky, and Whitesburg, Kentucky. I got the privilege to go on three mission trips in the last year. I went on the New Orleans mission trip, Kentucky, as well as Kenya. I feel like the three takeaways for me were fellowship, being the hands and feet of Jesus, and thankfulness. Being able to go on mission trips this year has really been a character building experience for me. I've been able to meet so many great people along the way and to be able to share testimonies with them has been an incredible experience. I've enjoyed every moment of each and every one of these trips. I've been fortunate enough to be able to go to Kenya, South Africa, and to Kentucky twice, uh, all just this year. And each and every one of those places had a unique impact on my life. I learned that fellowship is very important as believers to come together and worship and to stay in community with each other. On the Kentucky mission trip, although I didn't feel like I grew a ton spiritually, I learned about being the hands and feet of Jesus. It's something that we undervalue, that doing something physically is just as important as doing something spiritually. While in South Africa, our team traveled around and ministered to thousands through music, as well as teaching workshops to students and partnered with local ministries to feed those in need. Going into Golden Valley in George, South Africa with Ethnos Ministries meant we got to work side by side with people who are the hands and feet of Jesus to the poorest of the poor every single day. And we got to meet the most beautiful children. Most of them have fetal alcohol syndrome because their moms are alcoholics. And they don't go to school because there's no remedial teacher for them. One little girl I met was called Vanessa. She held onto my hand, wouldn't let go, was so hungry for, for love. And on a whim, which was perhaps the Holy Spirit, I said, hey, I wonder what your name means. And so I Googled it on my phone. And uh, I told her, well, Vanessa means butterfly. As I told her that and explained it to her, her eyes lit up and I could see, well, just a God moment of her realizing a, a value that she has that she did not know and something of her destiny perhaps opening up for her. And the rest of the day, she refused bluntly to be called Vanessa. She wanted to be called Butterfly. I'll never forget little Butterfly. I hope to see her again. And I pray for her every week that she has a wonderful life in Jesus Christ. My relationship with God has grown spiritually more than it ever has, and I've been so thankful for that. Visiting Victoria's Children's Home in Kakamega, Kenya allowed us to minister to the 150 kids currently living there. We were able to lead them in small groups, play games, crafts, and build relationships with the workers. I love how immediate and responsive the Kenyan culture is and how eager they are to learn. While we were on outreach there, I realized that there's a great need amongst leaders to be trained in tall tree steam training. I explained it to one pastor on a Monday afternoon and as a result, the next morning, 47 pastors and elders and church leaders were gathered in a hotel conference room ready to be trained. It was humbling to see such a passion for learning. Something that I saw in Kenya that was really truly blessed me was how thankful the people were and how their hearts were full of praise for the Lord. It's something that I believe as a church body that we can learn from them. While we were only in each location for a short period, the impact that was felt in our team will last for a lifetime. It was our prayer that those we came in contact with would know that they are known, seen, and loved by God, and that no matter what they've walked through, Jesus is their hope. These trips would have not been possible without those who gave and prayed for them, but they equally would have not been possible without those who went. It is my prayer that all in the body of Christ at some point in their walk would be able to participate in missions through giving, praying, and going.